On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your listening skills? Listening is about paying attention. In fact, the definition of the word listen is to give one's attention to a sound. We're exploring not just listening, but carefully listening without judgment. Listening is a process of extraction using pattern recognition to make meaning from sound. Unfortunately, noise is the most prominent sound in our lives. Whether it's physical noise, like the sound of other conversations, people typing on their keyboards, a dog barking, and so on, or psychological noise, what we're thinking while the other person's speaking, noise is ever present. Listening is about paying attention with your eyes, your ears, your mind, and your heart to what your conversation partner is saying. I recently read a statistic that we spend roughly 60% of our communication time listening, but only retain 25% of what we hear. While the research didn't get into the reasons why we don't retain what we hear, I guess it has a lot to do with our internal state while we're listening. What noise do you allow? You can have a conversation inside your head and plan your response, listening to comment, to correct, to criticize, or to confirm, or you can carefully listen by putting a pause on the internal noise and listening to connect, giving your complete and undivided attention to the person speaking. Here's a way of thinking about listening. Consider three levels. The first one is internal. It's about me. At this level, you're focused on yourself and your own thoughts, not the person who's speaking. Everything you hear is interpreted in terms of what it means to you. You're planning your response when you listen at this level. The second level is focused. You're focused on the speaker. You've tuned out the noise in your head. You're paying attention to his or her words, tone of voice and body language, and you're seeking to grasp where that person's coming from. You ask questions to confirm your understanding and clarify what you're hearing. This is focused listening, deeply paying attention to the other person. The third level of listening is expansive. In this level, you're using all of your senses and intuition to gather signals and pick up more than just what's being said. This is the deepest level of listening. When Peter Drucker identified the eight practices of effective executives, he threw in a bonus practice. Listen first, speak last. He also said the most important thing in communication is hearing what isn't said. This is listening at the third level. Listening without judgment is a skill that you can build. Judgment creates barriers. Listening without judgment is about accepting what the other person says. Notice I didn't say that you're agreeing with the other person. Listening without attempting to change or protest what's being said is listening without judgment. We can better understand the neuroscience of listening without judgment by using the ladder of inference. This was developed by Chris Argerus and popularized by Peter Senge in the fifth discipline, the art and practice of the learning organization. Conversations take place at the chemical level first and fastest. We get sensations in our body that the brain processes. Unconscious judgments are made within 0.07 seconds. Then we label the sensation caused by the interaction as feel good or feel bad, friend or foe, I can trust you or I can't. As we move up the ladder, we put words to our feelings. We make meaning and turn the feelings into thoughts. Once we make up a story or create meaning, we pull in other beliefs we have about the situation or person. This interpretation of facts comes from our frame of reference. Do you bring a mindset of curiosity or control? Finally, when we reach a conclusion, we block out a lot of other people's opinions. We stop seeing or hearing others' points of view. Once we make up our minds, we have to prove that we're right. The last two rungs on the ladder of inference are beliefs and actions. These come from how we interpret facts and from prior assumptions. Beliefs are the basis for all action. Understanding the ladder of inference is helpful as you work to listen without judgment. As you are interpreting the facts and feelings generated in the conversation, are you coming from a place of judgment or acceptance? Harvard psychologist 
Dan Gilbert, summarized centuries of research on belief formation with this statement. People are credulous creatures who find it very easy to believe and very difficult to doubt. In fact, believing is so easy and perhaps so inevitable that it might be more like involuntary comprehension than it is like rational assessment. So as you're practicing listening carefully without judgment, I've got two tips to help improve that ability. You're probably familiar with a quote, we have two ears and one tongue so that we would listen more and talk less. Start by working to listen more and set your intention for how you will pay attention. If you aren't familiar with Judith Glazer's work, I highly recommend that you read Conversational Intelligence. Listen to others with your full attention without judgment and you will give the greatest gift one human being can give another. Time and attention are priceless. Make the investment in your relationships to listen well.